five minutes of this episode, and then, uh, me realized I was muted, and I'm like, huh. And the thing is, is when you realize that you're muted, it's not, it's not even like, I wonder, like, you know, like, oops, you know, just, just unmute and get back into it, like, because there, there, there's two, there's two aspects to it, okay? There's the first aspect, which is, you know, you were muted, you didn't want to be muted. Can you guys, like, walk on this? Yeah, you can just stand there, hey? You're muted, and, and you don't know how long you were muted for, because you have no recollection of, like, when you forgot to, like, when it got backwards, you know? And then the other thing is, is, like, when you muted, you muted to mute something that, that, you, you probably muted to mute something that, that you didn't want people to hear. And you're like, was I, like, unmuting myself for that? So you, it's just, like, in my opinion, I just, I like re-recording the episode. Um, rather than, uh, <laughs> try and discover, like, like, go back and be like, huh, I wonder what, what's going on here, you know? To me, it's just a lot easier. Um, God, I can't shoot, dude. So the last KF2 video I have to record for this day, which is, is strange. You be dead. So it's a Monday, and I'm used to uh, Mondays being my long Big days, days, but because of the the way that I'm changing up the streams and stuff, today is a stream day, tomorrow's not a stream day, it would be dumb for me to get all the recording done today when, when tomorrow I just have an extra like three hours to, to do. And I think I'm going to extend the stream today because I really want to play some Monster Hunter and get some progress because... Uh, now that's bullet time! Honestly, I was, um, like, where are you? Hi! Um, cause honestly, I was like, uh... Where are we going to? I don't know, dude. Over here? Um... Anyway, so I was, uh... What was I talking about? I don't know. Yeah, so I, I just, uh, I, I just re-record it. It doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I had a, uh, had a dream last night. And it was a really pleasing dream. It was, uh, it was a dream where I was, like, super content with everything that was happening. And, and I was happy. And, uh, I woke up at a, at a super inopportune time in the dream. You know? It, I'm not gonna get into the dream because, uh, reasons. It was nothing naughty, you know? But it was, it was... Just something I don't really want to talk about so much, for for other reasons. But it was it was a very pleasing dream, and uh, I was I was happy in the dream, you know, like very very happy and, and content. And um, then I woke up at a at a very inopportune time, and I was like, man, that kind of sucks. But then I realized something, which was that uh, in my dream, I was I was a guy. I had no name. Nobody ever called me by name because I like I don't have a guy name, you know. So like, what what are you gonna call me? I don't I don't have a male name. Um, but like, I was I was a guy in my dream, and uh, I was like, huh? Because normally normally when I wake up at an inopportune time like that, I'll just I'll just go back to bed and, and finish the dream, you know. No big deal. Because I don't, I don't want to, you know, either way I'm going to have to wake up from a, from a pleasant dream. And I'm going to have to be like, man, you know what, reality's just not as good as that. You know? Like, like either way that, that kind of feeling is going to happen, so may as well at least finish it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but uh, then, I, then I realized that I was, I was a guy in the dream and I'm like, I just don't want to, to, to continue that because... I'm I'm not happier with that, but then at the same time in the dream I was just like really really happy, and I was it was like it was a weird disconnect kind of between um, like how I felt in real life and how I felt in the dream where where I was like super super content playing the masculine role and and being a guy and and living that kind of a life, you know, and it was just it was weird feeling to have when I woke up because it's so unusual you know because you know even in real life I often forget that I'm trans I know I don't I know I sound like a guy and I uh, honestly I kind of look a little masculine but um, I just uh, like I often forget that that I was trans at all like I'm just I'm a girl I'm you know I'm Charlotte this is this is me and, and 
you know my uh, my family is often you know like uh, when when we see extended family that we haven't talked to and and you know they haven't quite been in the know yet you know they'll ask my sister like oh how's your brother doing and she's like who I don't who because you know you just, you just forget that like like I'm it, you know it, at a certain point it's just you've been living as Charlotte for so long that, that those memories kind of fade away to a certain extent you know and uh, it's kind of the same for me where, where I just like I forget that there was ever a point where you know I was wrongfully living as a guy and uh, so even in my dreams you know like I'm, I'm always a girl because that's that's what I am you know what I mean and so to be like completely content in a dream where I'm I'm playing the mask and role was just a, a very it, it was very unusual I'll, I'll put it that way and it had me feeling very weird <laughs> like not not usual at all uh, so it's on down there I understand it was, it was it was weird It was very, very weird. Is uh, is basically the way that it goes. And the reason I don't want to talk about it is is because I was playing the man role, and it makes me uncomfortable to talk about it because I was playing the masculine role, and uh, that's not me. You know, like I don't know. I just I woke up and I felt so satisfied and content, and I'm like, but how? I don't I don't get it. There, there's something wrong here. That's never really happened before. So it was it was a very it was unique and and very different experience for me. At least in recent times. It's very strange. I don't know, maybe maybe I need to think about my gender more. <laughs> I don't know. You know, maybe maybe I need to think about how I identify and and who I am a little bit more, but at the same time I don't I don't think I really do. I think that uh I wish there was nothing spawning back here. That would make this so much better, in my opinion, if, if, if there was nothing spawning behind. Unfortunately, there, there's lots spawning behind, so... Um, yeah, it was just a strange, strange sensation. Let's see, I have another thing that I want to talk about, but I'm not sure if I can talk about it in a way that I'm comfortable talking about it, so I have to, I have to think about it a little bit here. I'm trying to think. So I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I can talk about it in a way that I'm, I'm comfortable talking about it on, uh, on YouTube, really. So we just won't. But uh, it's some, it's some, it's some that brings me down at times, and I wanted to talk about it because I think that it's uh, a strange sensation. But I'm not sure I can talk about it in a way because it involves other people as well. And I'm like, I don't know if I can talk about it because it, it involves them, and I don't really want to discuss that so much you know not so much on uh, on a YouTube channel you know like I don't get too many views but there's 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 a possibility that this view this, this video gets like you know 20 30 views and like that's that's pretty significant you know that that's definitely not I'm not a nobody I'm just I'm not quite a somebody yet you know what I mean and uh, I'm aiming to be a somebody so I got I gotta pretend as though I am you know talk as though I am you know? <laughs> I love bashing those guys. It's not, it's not, it's not that hard to bash them, but at the same time, it's not that easy to bash them. Oh, it's satisfying though. Anyway, enough about, enough about the stuff that brings me down. Enough about that. Enough about that. You know, I, uh, one of my fondest memories as a child is playing Pokemon Ruby or Sapphire I can't remember um, but one one or the other you're, um, you're going to get Rayquaza you had to have your uh, your like fast bike you know cuz you had to kind of like quickly maneuver your way through the Rayquaza tower which could have had two more dollars but whatever uh, you had to quickly maneuver your way through the Rayquaza tower over all of the um, the like broken flooring and you had to use your your fast bike so that you could get over it quickly enough 
uh, before the, the floors would like fall out beneath you. And you had to put in some precise inputs to make it through. And, and these days I could probably do it like reasonably easily. Like that doesn't seem that hard to me. But but as a child, you know, at the time when uh, when Pokemon Ruby came out, you know, I would have been... Ugh, when, when, would, when did Pokemon Ruby come out? Pokemon Ruby. Pokemon Ruby came out in 2002. So I would have been like, yeah, seven years old at the time. Um, you know, you're, you're, my, uh, yeah, I'll be honest with you, my, um, my motor skills ain't too strong these days even. It might, uh, surprise you since I'm such a god tier gamer in Killing Floor 2. But, uh, you know, my motor skills are definitely something that I have, uh, at least some degree of an issue with. Um, okay. Now, we kill you, and then you don't kill me. Easy. Um, and back then especially, you know, not, not to like, uh, you know, Down Syndrome or anything like that, but definitely there is a, a, a semblance of, of trouble with it, you know? And sometimes, depending on, you know, stress of situations and stuff can, can affect it. Anyway, um, so, but, so back then, you know, those precise inputs, and especially when, when the stress was building up, it, it definitely got, uh, to be a, uh, a tricky situation to a certain extent. Um, but these days I could probably do it. Anyway, uh, that's that's one of my fondest memories is uh, is definitely finally making... Actually, no, I don't even have a memory of making it through finally. I don't, I don't have any recollection of succeeding on that. I don't, I don't have any memory of, of having finally thrust my way into uh, Rayquaza's uh, lair at the top of the tower. It's like Sky Tower or something like that. I don't have any. I don't have any memory of of, of, of being successful, but I definitely have memory of uh, just just because uh, the thing is, is, in Pokemon, you you try to ride your bike inside, right? And Professor Oak always talks to you from billions of miles away. Like, there's a time and a place for everything, and this isn't the time and place for your bike. And. Uh, you know, you get to finally ride your bike inside, and I was like, "Oh, this is amazing!" And you get like your fast bike, and uh, you get to like speedily make your way across all the stuff. Like it was such a, a a memorable experience for me. I don't remember being successful. I, I just I just remember trying to make it through. It's one of my most memorable experiences as a as a child, at least with regards to Pokemon. At least with regards to Pokemon. My earliest memory. What's, what's your guys' earliest memory? I want I want you guys, if you're still listening here, I want you guys, I'm genuinely interested, okay? Sometimes I, 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 I'll I I'll tell you guys to, to leave comments about something in the comments, and that's mostly just because I want the interaction on the YouTube video so that YouTube's like, hey, yo, we should like so give this to more people. No, I'm genuinely interested. I want to know, okay? What 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 are your guys' earliest memories? If you're okay with sharing it, I wanna I wanna know. You know how how old were you during your your earliest memory? You know, like what's what's the earliest thing you can remember? How old were you? What was it? For me, um, I definitely have memories from before I was one years old. You know, in my first year of of existence, I definitely have memories. Um, I just you know, at that point, I didn't really have the ability or the capability to properly, like, um, know what day it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I definitely have memories from, from before I was one years old. Um, definitely. But my, the earliest vivid memory that I have where I'm like, yes, I was definitely this, this age was, uh, was my first birthday. I had, uh, so I remember it so clearly. I, I came out of, uh, out of a room. There's, there's a whole bunch of people standing in the, in our living room. And I was like, kind of panicked and, and really nervous and didn't want to be there. Uh, really. And, um, we, we ended up taking a look at this table 
which had my, my birthday cake on it, and it was a, a large birthday cake in the shape of a one, and it was like coated in Smarties. And it was it was my first birthday cake that I ever got, and I have uh, I have a definite memory of it. I, I definitely remember my my first birthday party, and I always I was it, it kind of makes me laugh when I hear parents talking about how oh you're not not necessarily parents but people in general talking about uh, you know a child's first birthday and they're like oh it's it's not for the child it's 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 just for you know the parents the parents want uh, to celebrate their their first their their child's first birthday but. I, I, I vividly remember my first birthday and uh, like we have pictures of it and I'm like yeah like I was there I was fully conscious at the time I, I, I have memories of that and uh, I, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that birthday was definitely not for me <laughs> there was too many people I was super uncomfortable um, I didn't know what to do you know uh, I just really wanted that cake. <laughs> once, once I saw the cake, I was like, "Ooh, that's a lot of Smarties." Because you know, one-year-old me sees a cake with Smarties and is like, "That cake is solid Smarties the whole way through." You know, twenty-five-year-old me now sees that cake and is like, "Yeah, it's probably just like a normal cake with Smarties littered on the outside of it." It was like coated. It was a solid thing of Smarties, you know. But uh, most, most definitely, it was. Um, like, I don't remember the cake, but it was probably like a, a chocolate or a vanilla cake with, um, just, just Smarties kind of like stuck on the outside of it, you know, coating the entire surface of it, right? Like, there's, there's no way you're going to make, uh, an actual Smarty cake, but, um, you know. I was, it always makes me kind of chuckle when, when people are like, your kid's not even going to remember it anyway. No, they, they may very well. But then people are also like, you actually remember things that early? And pe most people that I talk to, their first memory is, you know, like three or four years old or whatever, that, that they can actually, like, vividly remember. So, uh, I was like, talking about it, because cause people have, uh, I don't know, like, I guess I have, like, a, a really good memory. But but I remember, and I, I like I said, I definitely remember things from before that birthday. I just, I couldn't tell you, you know, exactly... Any uh, any examples of them? I, I definitely have uh, some memories. I, I couldn't be like you know. I I believe we went to like the beach at times. We went to uh, like the a local park a couple of times, I believe. Um, but like I'm like you know I also did that when I was one and a half. I did that when I was two. Like I can't really, you know. Okay, you went you went to the beach. That's good. You know, like I don't know. Whereas, whereas for my, my, my first birthday, I'm like, that was definitively my first birthday party. I remember that. I actually, funnily enough, I do not remember my second or my third birthday party. Uh, my fourth birthday party... Mm, I don't think I remember my fourth either. Fifth birthday party... Not sure I remember. Not sure I remember my fifth. Let's see, when's when's the next birthday that I that I actually remember? It might have been. Down you go. See. Yeah. Let's let's check something. When did the Game Boy Advance SP come out? So the Game Boy Advance SP came out in two thousand and three. Uh, so the first birthday that I would remember after my first birthday would have probably been when I was like seven or eight because I got a, a Game Boy Advance SP. Um, yeah, I think. Should have been when I was eight. Is my is my next one? I remember my first birthday and then I remember my ninth birthday, basically. No, I remember. When did the GameCube come out? When did when did the GameCube come out? The GameCube came out in two thousand and one. Okay, so I remember my sixth birthday as well. Enemies on the scope. So I got a GameCube for it. <laughs> I got a GameCube on my sixth birthday. I remember that one quite clearly. 
Maybe, maybe I remember my fifth as well then. So I think I got a guitar. That might have been on my seventh though, or on my eighth. I'm not sure, dude. Like these, these ones kind of blend together. They didn't make me a cake that that was in the shape of of a number, you know, six or something. So I gotta remember birthday presents and then kind of figure out what what year that would have been, <laughs> you know. So I think I remember my my sixth birthday where I got. Uh, a GameCube. The, the GameCube came out. When did the? No, it came out in uh, in North America. Yeah, in 2001. But when in 2001? The console was released September 14th, 2001. Okay, so that probably would have been my seventh birthday that I got it because my birthday's on September 10th. Alternatively, we celebrated my birthday late and they bought it. I don't know. Um. Like, at the time, I would have been, like, six or seven, right? Like, I don't really have access to, to know what, what the latest console is. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember any birthdays, really. I have memories. I have memories going to the park and and uh, the beach. I remember going to the beach a lot. My grandmother used to live pretty close by to a beach. Uh, so we used to go and, and uh, make sand castles and stuff on the beach all the time. Um, I remember, uh, you know, we used to go to the park and, and feed, uh, ducks all the time. So we'd go to, um, we'd go to the store and buy, like, some duck food. Or, like, not necessarily duck food, but food for ducks. Not, not food made for ducks, but food that is not made for ducks that we would then give to the ducks. Uh, we'd, we'd go to, like, stores and get, like, fried crumbs and stuff. It might have been a pet store, I'm not actually sure. I can't remember wh what store we'd go to. Um... But uh, we'd feed the ducks and, and the geese and stuff and, and, and uh, have a good time with it. Climb around on the rocks and, and my grandmother would always be freaking out about how I'm going to like injure myself on the rocks and she was probably right. But you can't stop a kid from being stupid so, you know, sucks to suck, lady. Um, let's see. I can't, I can't remember. I remember my my tenth birthday, I believe. Do I remember my tenth birthday? I actually don't know if I remember my tenth birthday. What what happened on my tenth birthday? I think I got a guitar on my tenth birthday, maybe. I'm not sure. Cause remember, I was like big big one zero. I remember I remember that clearly. You know, I was excited about turning ten finally. Yeah, I think I got a. I I think I got a guitar on my tenth birthday. I think so. Maybe on my 10th birthday I got uh, the Game Boy Advance SP. I'm not really sure, dude. Yeah, because I think I lost my Game Boy Advance SP. And then they bought me a new one. Which is the one that I currently have. Still. Not sure. After that, the next birthdays that I, I really remember and I could, I could actually date. Probably like... 15th? I remember my 15th birthday. That was cringe AF. Um, <laughs> tale for another video. Remind me sometime and I'll tell you about my 15th birthday. Uh, that was that was a, a cringe <laughs> story though. Um, yeah, because I, uh, I had a girlfriend at the time. And uh, I wanted... Like, I, I didn't plan it very well. And... Uh, Oh my god, just crouch. He can't shoot you if you crouch. We've been over this. I had a girlfriend at the time, and, and I was it was my first girlfriend. And, uh... And I'll tell you. It didn't, it didn't go so hot. <laughs> so ask me again sometime. This is the last video I have today, otherwise I'll talk about it in the next video. But ask me again sometime, and I'll tell you about my 15th birthday. I remember my 16th birthday, which was the surprise party that, that traumatized me. I've already talked about that story. Um, 18th birthday, I was homeless. Um, and then the last birthday I really remember is like the one that just happened a month ago. <laughs> I don't really remember most of my birthdays, honestly. I mean, they're all kind of samey. You know, like we went to a Japanese restaurant, had Japanese food, or we went to the keg and we had keg food. and You know, they're all kind of samey. 
like you know what 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 year was this what year was that you know it's like whatever um but uh yeah the 15th birthday definitely had some had some cringe associated with it it was a disaster through and through oh such a disaster it was horrible it was my first girlfriend and uh, we'd only been together for like three days at that point no it was on my 15th birthday that I asked her out to the first dates. And then we went on a date and then we had like our my friend birthday cuz you know you have your family birthday and then you have your friend's birthday. She was over to my family birthday cuz she was kind of like a family friend sort of. Um and then I asked her on a date. We were going to go watch. Uh, anyway, that's that's a story for another day. Uh that's that's a, that's a tale for another day. Uh I'll tell I'll tell you about it if you ever mind. If you don't mind me, I will forget. Um so if you want to know about my 15th birthday and my my first girlfriend that that uh, that's that's a tell you have to remind me for. <laughs> it's a it's a doozy. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like. And subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.